Well, that's hard to say because I love so many things about teaching. Um, one of the things that I think I love the most is that um, oftentimes in social situations, I find it very awkward to interact with people and I find that people carry with them a lot of social anxiety. I find that in the classroom, when we all come together with some sort of clear purpose, um, that interacting with each other is somehow easier and less stressful and that people come together as a community actually much more quickly than we'd expect them to. The student who um, began in our English department as an undergraduate student um, and then went on to uh, graduate from our master's program. And so after his having been here over the course of about six years, he had taken 21 credits with me. Um, and actually I ended up standing up in his wedding um, when he got married shortly thereafter. Um, and I think what was so extraordinary about those 21 credits is that I was able to watch him evolve in a way that I typically, you know, you see students evolve maybe over the course of two classes or over the course of three classes. But this allowed me to see him really transform over the course of six years. My undergraduate degree is actually in journalism and Spanish. Um, and the funny thing is that I knew I wanted to write in some way, but my advisors um, when I was an undergrad told me that I needed to do something that was more marketable than creative writing. So I got a degree in journalism and did work as a journalist here and there. I did some research um, abroad in Argentina when I was an undergraduate student using my Spanish as well. Um, but ultimately, by my senior year in college, knew that I had, I had taken one fiction writing class and I could just tell like I was being tugged in that direction, that I really wanted more creative liberties um, than I was able to um, use when I was working as a journalist. Um, so I ended up getting an MFA, a Master's of Fine Arts in Creative Writing, and that degree is in fiction writing. However, also over the course of my, um, my master's program, I discovered that I really loved memoir most, which is now my area of specialty, and the book that I'm writing now is a memoir. The memoir weaves together um, two different narratives. One of the narratives is the story of um, my life as a mother and my husband's life as a father as we parent five children. The other narrative is about my husband's work in criminal defense. He um, is a criminal defense attorney in Oshkosh and every day is um, sort of confronted with the many crimes, some small but some actually much larger than one might expect in Oshkosh, um, and his ability to empathize with his, with his clients and to work with them in order to have a fair defense. Um, what's been interesting is that we, a lot of his clients actually are the parents of children that our kids go to school with. And so what we've been examining is the intersection of these two, of these worlds, right? Our sort of domestic world and our, our personal private lives um, and the more public world in which my husband is um, immersed defending many of the very people that we encounter every day and many of the people who, um, whose children are interacting with our children um, in the public schools. And so um, the research portion of that is, you know, reading court documents, reading um, discovery, criminal complaints, attending a lot of court, um, interviewing my husband. I've interviewed a lot of his clients, many of whom wish to be interviewed anonymously, but, um, but I interview them and tell their stories as a kind of um, a way of also reflecting um, the lives that, that we are living as parents in, that, in, in the same community. I think UW Oshkosh is such a great place to learn because it seems to me that teaching is our number one priority on this campus. I know that um, I have many friends who teach at other universities and I've known um, students who've attended other universities and often research seems to be the first priority so often professors are engaged in their own, um, their own research and their own sort of critical worlds first and foremost and teaching is secondary to that. But I honestly feel that here teaching is first and foremost and whenever I talk to colleagues on campus, whether it's in the Department of English or in any of the other departments, it's very clear that what we end up talking about is teaching more so than we end up talking about our research because I think teaching is our first priority. And a lot of us came to this institution because we love teaching so much. Um, and so although we find ways to integrate our research into the classrooms and are passionate about that too, I really feel as though the majority of professors on campus are passionate about teaching and that's why they ended up coming here to teach. Thank you.